Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a sunburst effect in Photoshop CS6. I'm pretty sure that it'll work in previous versions since it's very simple, but let's get straight into this. So you're gonna go ahead, file, new. Uh, it doesn't matter what size it is, just make sure, just don't make sure anything, just, you know, make it the size that you need it. I'm gonna be using 1920 by 1080 that is full HD. So we're gonna go ahead and select our gradient tool. If you have the paint bucket tool, if you click G, just hold it, go to gradient. Alright, so now we have our gradient tool selected. We're going to go ahead and click on the colors, and you see these stops. Well, these are what define uh, what, the co what you want the colors to be. So, let's just go ahead and make a simple gradient. So, I just have a simple gradient selected, blue and pink. You can choose anything you want, really, but yeah. So, you're going to make sure you want to have the linear gradient tool selected, and you're just going to drag down. And it doesn't matter if it's straight or not. If you do want to make it straight, you can hold shift, go straight down, and there you go. So next, you want to go into filter, distort, wave. And uh, as you can see, I just opened up Photoshop before I started this tutorial. So these settings will not happen, they will not actually stay. So uh, if you just have a notepad, you're going to want to go ahead and write this down. So you want the number of generators to be 299, the wavelength to be 65 for both. Oops. And you want the amplitude to be 132 for both. And as you can see, that creates these bars. You want the scale to keep the same, keep everything else the same. There you go. Okay, so you have, so you've, now you have these bars. Then what you're going to want to do is go into filter, distort, pull the coordinates. Don't mess up anything, even though it doesn't matter, because if you do this, it'll make it all weird. And there you go, you've created a sunburst effect in a very short amount of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit that like button down below, it really helps me out. But yeah, hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.